Good evening. In less than 24 hours, the largest health district in the state, Central District Health, will vote on a proposed public health order for Ada, Elmore Valley, and Boise counties. That draft looks similar to the advisory in place. If it passes, the following will be an enforceable order. Social gatherings must be limited to fewer than 10 people with exemptions, exceptions for religious and educational gatherings. Masks would be required when social distancing isn't possible. Delivery or curbside pickup strongly encouraged. Visits to long-term care facilities will not be allowed and some sports will be banned. Earlier tonight on the News at 6, we asked for your questions about this and your concerns surrounding the potential new order. Arkatia Stepovic joins us with the answers. Why does it seem the new proposed order includes everything that is already in place? Well, although it may seem that way, Central District Health's current advisory serves as a suggestion or a recommendation, while a public health order is enforceable and can result in potential consequences. Also, many of the components are already in place, but only for Ada County. This order would be for all four counties under Central District Health. Perhaps the biggest change, a mask mandate district-wide. Why are they forcing masks instead of education on how to properly wear masks and focus more on education to businesses on proper sanitation? CDH says education has been the strategy all along, and even in the order, there is a lengthy section about how to properly wear your mask, fit to face with no large gaps over your nose and mouth. The proposed order stating that cloth masks made with tightly woven fabrics like cotton or cotton blends are acceptable, along with medical and non-medical disposal masks. Now, masks with a valve openings, holes or gaps would be considered a violation. I'd actually like to know why it's okay to have 20 to 25 or more students in a school bus with no way to keep them socially distanced six feet apart. Central District Health spokesman Brandon Atkins told KTVB in a statement that says, in part, education is a priority and some students rely on busing to receive that educational opportunity. While busing does pose a risk, communities unwilling to follow guidance are putting those students at a higher risk by elevating community spread. The order says that gatherings of 10 people or more are prohibited, with the exception of religious and educational activities. And when inside a school, face coverings are required at all times, unless a person is alone or for teachers when they are providing instructions and are able to distance 10 feet from students. If the order passes, failure to comply with the order can result in a misdemeanor punishable by incarceration, fine, or both. Now the board will review, as we said before, will review that order at 515 tomorrow evening. It's also interesting to note, Mark, that usually the board meets every Tuesday. Now in their last board meeting on Tuesday, they talked about how they can't wait until next Tuesday to go over something like this because these four states, these four counties rather, are in a said crisis state and it's something they need to address as soon as possible. So we'll definitely be listening in on that meeting and bringing everyone the latest changes that come. Mark. Katia, obviously there's a big difference uh, from an advisory to an order. And uh, what is the enforcement piece of this? How, how is that going to stay consistent across all four of those counties? Sure. Well, I spoke to Brandon Atkins today from CDH, and he said this is actually still a concern that they're trying to address, but that ultimately it's going to come down to city and county enforcement, as well as local leaders to kind of team up and decide how they will enforce things throughout their community. He said it's going to be a big talker in the coming days and potentially even in tomorrow night's meeting. Big talker might be an understatement. Katia Stepovic reporting live for us tonight. Katia, thanks.